Hello, welcome to Claire Bay's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I coloured this beautiful image. You see her there? She's from Morgan Fitzsimmons Flight of Fantasy CD. She's from CD2 um, and she's from Crafter's Companion. The She's from the JPEG section on the CD and she's called Fairy Child 4A. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I'm colouring today using the Nina Desert Storm cardstock, which is this gorgeous craft card. It's really simple to colour onto. It's just the same as normal Desert, uh, as normal Nina, but it's as I say a craft colour. I'm going to be using just my Spectrum Noir essential pencils today, and I'm going to show you how I colour her skin, and in particular her face. Let's get started. First of all, I'm using 001, which is the white pencil. And we're just going to roughly colour. You can't really see this on camera, but it just gives a nice base for you to work off of. It also means it's easier to show the highlights on her face. So I'm just giving her a nice colouring all over. I've now got the 004. Okay, um, what I do is I gently colour once again over the top but following the contours of her actual face. So I'm going over the white itself but be very mindful of the way that the skin would actually get, look. I'm leaving a little bit of highlight just here on her eyelid which you can't see at the moment but it will pop out, I promise you, when it's all done. I'm also leaving a little bit of highlight down her nose, just as white, and a little bit on her chin. Also on this side, I'm leaving white here. This is because when you're colouring, you need to think of where exactly the light source is coming from, and mine's coming from this direction. Now I'm going to go in with the 89 and this time I'm going to colour around the hairline if you can see on this one I've gone darker around here just slightly colouring it in also gone a little bit darker just under her eye as you can see here and I'm going to go just around the nose there. And then once again up into the, the hairline. I'm going to go a little bit darker just in this section here and just under her nose and just under her chin, just about there. All the time think of the way the contours of your face actually lie. There you go. You just gently build it up, then go back in with your four. As you can see, this is where you, then the colour starts to really work well. I hope you can see this on camera. And you can go back in once again with your your white one, the zero zero one. This then acts a bit like a blender, but it also helps to put a little bit of the contour in. You see her building up there already. And I'm going to go back in with the eighty nine. See her building up, and once again with the four, just to get rid of any harsh lines you may have. Okay. Now we're going in with the 91, which is our darkest colour here, and once again, just lightly going to around the hairline. 
and bring it forward. We should really make it pop. Just add in little bits here and there as you go. Maybe a little bit of your 89 again. So all the time you're building the colouring up. And then back in with your four. On this one I've actually gone in with just a little bit of nine as well, just to give her a little bit of warmth over her chin area, uh, cheek area. It's just a really subtle. Hopefully you can see how quick and easy that actually is. If you're looking for some more tutorials, um, you can look on the Spectrum Noir YouTube channel. There's lots of there on there, lots of them on there for you to watch. Thank you.